This building was a carpenter workshop and as we have our house down the road, I knew the carpenter very well. And when he retired, I've got the opportunity to buy the workshop. What we did was design a space to have friends and family when they visited London. The townhouse here is 40 square meters. Uh, it has a footprint of 20 square meters. It was always two floors, but we lifted the roof half a meter so we could get a mezzanine in. Instead of making a bedroom with walls and doors, was that I make this built-in uh, bed pots. When you go to bed, you are kind of enclosed, so it feels like a tree house or another little house inside the house. I like to use colours, but in kind of a more interventions, like colourful chairs, or I mean, we have Joe Niemeyer's um, pictures on the wall here and downstairs, very graphical, but also quite kind of primary colours. The bathroom is bright yellow. Uh, yellow is kind of, I find, a very happy colour, like the sunflower and, you know, it's uh, the sunshine. At the same time, the house is quite calm with its white walls and, and wood, but still some playfulness with some different accent of, of colours. I furnished the house with chairs and also tables that is upcycled from um, old chairs and tables that are picked up in the street or in junk shops. This is frames that I have stripped. I made up the seats and the backs and do the upholsteries. They're quite cartoonish and fun, you know, in their shapes and a bit exaggerated shapes. So it gives the space more personality. The lamps are designed for the, um, this house here. It's designed in a, in a square wooden section, section it in, in oak. To maximize the light uh, in the space, we have put in a big um, skylight uh, with the south facing. Uh, which we then also um, transfer down to the lower ground floor with a big glass panel in, in the floor. Like in any small spaces, you have to find places where you can put your storage, kind of hide it away. So here we have storage under the bed. We got storage under the stairs. In the kitchen, we have um, obviously like a, a dishwasher and a washing machine and um, appliances that are needed. We've got a hot boiling tap, so we don't need to have a, uh, a kettle there. In small spaces, every little square inch matters. This is more like designing a boat or a caravan. How do you create comfortable bedding? How do you create enough storage and comfortable seating that doesn't take up space you haven't got? And uh, I think the compromise is that if it's well designed, it doesn't feel smaller. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Never Too Small channel by clicking on the logo and the notification bell to receive updates on our latest episode.